Wendy says, I have been with this man for a little over a year, never lied or cheated, but he accuses me of how, of both. How do I get him to believe me? Well, first thing that you need to do is look at, so if he accuses you of lying and cheating, the first thing that you need to do whenever somebody does that, whenever somebody accuses you of that, and it is a consistent thing that goes on over time, the first thing you need to do is look to see if they are lying and cheating. Because what w- one of the big patterns that people have in relationships out there is projection. And so if he's a liar and a cheater, he's likely going to think that you are a liar and cheater as well because that's who he is and so that's what he feels and so he projects that onto you and he starts accusing you of those things so the first thing that you it's a red flag and the first thing that you need to do is look and see if he's a liar and a cheater and look at kind of all the evidence that's out there and make sure that he's not because there's a high probability chance that he is if he's accusing you of that then you can go from there. How, how, how is he going to believe you? Well, he has to, he has to trust you and that takes time, especially if he's been wounded in the past and that's where that's coming from. Cause sometimes it's not that he's a liar and a cheater. It's that he's experienced a lot of women who are liars and cheaters. And so it's up to him to kind of heal that and work through that and figure out what's going on with that. And that's something that you can't necessarily do. He has to facilitate that process for himself and he has to take a good look at what's going on with him and and figure that stuff out himself.